Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and in this series of All I Want for Christmas is an SDR Play RSP1B. So we, of course, um, have what we are calling SDRs. They are software-defined receivers. A lot of people think they're not real radios. They are totally real radios. These radios actually receive with an antenna that you plug in like any conventional radio. The only difference is that an SDR is controlled by a computer. So no knobs, no buttons. They are on your screen, on your computer. So I have been a big fan of SDR play devices. Uh, the RSP1A that I had the first time, uh, which was uh, offered to me by um, HRO. And then I got uh, the RSPDX offered by um, SDR play. And the RSP1A, which for me is still today one of the best entry-level software-defined receivers, if you don't know what to buy, for its performance, its wide frequency range, and, uh, of course, uh, just overall great performance. Well, that performance is improved on the RSP1B, where they have actually tweaked to make lower noise on the receiver, which means it's technically an upgrade to the RSP1A. So the RSP1B is available at mel multiple outlets, uh, HRO in the United States, uh, Radio World in Canada, uh, direct from SDR Play. And it's a little black box, doesn't seem like much, but it does a lot. It is a wideband receiver from the lower few kilohertz all the way up to 2000 megahertz without any gap in the coverage. It's controlled by their software called SDR Connect, or I believe it works with the SDR Uno also, but SDR Connect is the next generation of software that will run it, which was nice. It is nice because it runs on Mac, on Linux, and Windows, which is really cool, multi-platform. Gives great performance if you're looking, you know, because SDRs, there's a lot of SDRs out there, you don't know, and what should you get exactly? Well, I think the SDR Play RSP1B offers, um, you know, a uh, not too expensive device. It's really not very expensive for what it does. Um, it actually gives a great coverage if you like, you know, if you do scan a radio, if you listen to VHF, UHF range. This is really cool because it does it all, every mode, everything you want. Uh, the software is, of course, to learn like any SDR, but it's great. SDR Connect is uh, getting really good out there in uh, the SDR Play software for uh, the uh, controlling the uh, radio. Offers great performance. You can listen to your uh, you know, favorite shortwave stations, long wave, medium wave. Uh, go to the uh, VHF, UHF range for all sorts of things, two-meter amateur radio bands. And the performance is there. Overall, it's sensitive, and it does well what it needs to do. And so um, it's a plug-and-play deal. So it's like you install the software, you plug this thing in, no problems. It just works. No installing weird drivers like some other uh, lower-priced SDRs. So um, this definitely will bring you to a new world where you'll have a waterfall and all the signals will be visible. And it's really, really... An amazing new world. If you haven't been into SDR yet, you will be blown away by the capabilities, and it really changes the way we do radio. So, all I want for Christmas, how about an SDR Play RSP1B, a great performer at a price that is reasonable and that will help you get into the world of software-defined receivers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.